Let's pick up here, looking at the power switch for the uh, little airline portable radio. And uh, you can see it in operation here. Kind of gummed up in a lot of dark looking uh, spots there on the uh, contact points that we'll need to clean up. But let's go ahead and do some testing here. And I'll reference the uh, schematic as well. Let's start out here looking at the uh, ground connection on the slide switch itself. And you can see I've just got a jumper run here. And I'll attach the other lead to uh, ground. And we should have continuity regardless if the uh, switch is on or off. Right now, again, it's in the off position. And you can hear we have continuity. And uh, let me just engage the uh, switch here. And no change, so that's a good sign. So it looks like our ground connection is uh, correct and uh, working as it should. Let's move over to the uh, Type A now connection, which would be right here, which I'm highlighting in the picture in picture. And if you follow that back here, you'll see it attaches to the uh, negative side of the uh, Type A battery, which is the 1.5 volt battery. Let's just move the jumper here and check there. And I'll go ahead and get the uh, jumper hooked up. We said this side of the uh, battery was the uh, positive side. This is negative. So we'll attach here for the Type uh, A battery. And uh, you can hear we have continuity with the uh, switch on. Let's uh, flip this off now. And you can see it breaks continuity. And uh, that's what should occur. Let's move over now and uh, check the uh, Type B real quick and see what we have there. All right, prepping here for the uh, Type B. We'll go ahead and move over to this connection point here. Again, referencing the uh, schematic. Get that in place there. And you can see that runs straight through over to the uh, negative uh, side of the uh, Type B battery. So let me attach the other jumper here to the negative side. Indeed, here you can see that is the case. Let me uh, turn the switch in the off position and you can see nothing changes and that is correct for this particular connection point. Let's move the jumper now over to this side. And you can see we still have continuity. Let me uh, flip back over here so we can look at DC resistance now and uh, see what we have at this point. Referencing the schematic itself. Uh, you can see it calls out R9 as I'm highlighting, an 820 ohm resistor. Back to uh, this point, back to the uh, negative side of the uh, B battery. So you can see I'm reading uh, a little high there. So the uh, resistor here that resides on the underneath side of the board here would be in question. We'll do some additional uh, troubleshooting and look at that resistor as well before we move uh, forward to uh, maybe checking the uh, loudspeaker itself. So with everything hooked up here across the uh, resistor itself, you can see I'm reading uh, 1.2K. We'll get in here at some point during the restoration and I'll replace this uh, resistor here. It uh, resides uh, right here you can see. Let's see if we can get any audio out of this little small two and a half inch uh, PM speaker here. We'll start out here by uh, pulling the uh, power output tube. Should be a 3S4. We'll uh, check it here and uh, just ensure that it is. And that's what we have a 3S4 and um, you can see it is a Ward's Airline so maybe the original tube. For those uh, following along in the schematic here that I'll post you can see what I'm going to do is go from the plate over to the uh, from uh, the grid to pin number four 
and it will check the uh, primary side of that um, output transformer make sure that we've got uh, DC resistance there so go pin 4 here and then we'll go over to uh, pin number 2 to start out with see what we have and I'm showing open let's go to 6 and I'm showing open so that's not a, a good sign let me uh, just double check my adapter here just to make sure that I don't have a problem here so my adapter here tests good let's uh, flip this over and let me repeat the measurements uh, just to make sure pin number two and you can see this uh, blue lead here which should be the uh, primary of the uh, output transformer here and there's a red lead coming through you guys may be able to see that that attaches over to uh, pin number four which is grid number two for the tube and uh, you can see here I'm uh, completely open so uh, we'll need to do some additional uh, testing here for sure uh, for giggles I think I'm going to hook up my uh, audio signal uh, generator and maybe before I do that just my LCR meter and uh, double check myself and read across that and see if I see any inductance at all here for the transformer and then try to generate an audio tone as well and see if I can push anything through the uh, transformer over to the uh, little speaker itself get this hooked up here flipper on in the automatic mode see what we get and it appears uh, the unit thinks it's a capacitor let me make sure indeed I am in the uh, automatic mode yes all right so it looks like we've got uh, you know one problem here identified see if I can switch this over to inductance itself and uh, see if we can get a measurement so it's trying to read something but you can see here about uh, 297 meg so we've definitely uh, got an open primary here on the transformer so that's one thing to uh, unsolder remove and looks like it's pop riveted in on this side soldered on this side and uh, see if we can isolate any uh, repairable issues there let me go ahead and get my signal generator and hook it up here and uh, see if we can test through that very doubtful here though you can see the uh, DC resistance again 281 meg that's uh, probably what put this thing on the shelf see if I can get in here and uh, make these connections flip on the uh, audio signal generator crank the amplitude wide open and I hear nothing which uh, just kind of triple confirms that the uh, transformer is open I'm not going to disconnect the output transformer here on this test across the uh, speaker voice coil with my audio signal generator and let's see what we get so that's a good sign it appears uh, you know with this test at least the uh, voice coil is good again no indication at this point if the uh, secondary of the output transformer is also faulty but uh, we'll pull it out and do some additional testing and see most likely just the uh, primary is open and I'll probably end up having to take this over to the uh, bench itself and see if I can better support it I've really got two options here you can see I've got the uh, rivet on this side it's uh, soldered in on this side I've got this uh, small chisel for removing the uh, rivets and everything uh, I had a few comments earlier it's, it's uh, made by spring tools I also have the uh, punch itself it's uh, spring driven but you guys uh, again I'm not endorsing their product but uh, I purchased these a while back and they really do come in handy very very sharp there 
and uh, easy to uh, remove these uh, rivets in most cases. We'll see what happens here. I'll try to do some of this on uh, camera if I can without uh, destroying the radio. For those that have uh, earbuds in, you may want to take note here. Let's see if I can get behind the uh, rivet itself here. Well, I'm actually making a little hay, uh, just doing it this way. And you can see I'm almost all the way through. Probably just a couple more uh, pullbacks here. And uh, should be able to uh, at least get this one side removed. And there we go. That uh, came off pretty clean. That gives you an indication of uh, how handy the tool is. I was able to get behind it there and do uh, very little damage there. I got one small piece there still hung up the head that I'll need to uh, remove. And there's the uh, remaining piece there. I was able to dig that out. I tell you, the men and women that worked on these uh, portable sets, just everything being so small and tight, really uh, took a lot of patience and uh, skill just to uh, get back in here and get things uh, right. Okay, my bad here. Um, what was soldered was the uh, maybe the ground lead and the uh, terminal strip itself back to the uh, top side of another rivet. So um, I can see that now from here. So um, let me uh, get this other rivet removed. Okay, there we have it. Alright, let me get these uh, leads removed here from the uh, 3S4 tube as well as the uh, secondary leads here. And there we have the little guy. Let's uh, do some measurements now and see what we have. All right, in the auto mode here, you can see if it's showing up on uh, camera. It's showing as a capacitor, 4.3 picofarads. So uh, definitely uh, open on the primary side, as we uh, previously measured. And uh, we'll see if we can get a good connection here to the secondary. So you can see here the secondary looks good at uh, 0 0.62, 0 0.63 ohms. So the problem just resides on the uh, primary side. Again, probably what took this uh, little uh, airline out of service. And everything looks uh, nice and neat here, going up underneath the uh, paper wraps. We'll, uh, pop this thing open and see if we can discover any uh, damage here on the uh, primary side that's worth fixing.